Hey guys, I'm Tim, this is Tom. We're gonna to run you through our foil range. You know, uh, when you walk into the store for the first time and, and you're interested in getting into winging, um, foils, it's quite a vast range and it can be pretty overwhelming. So the purpose of this video is to just sort of break it down for you and, um, and let you know what you can get for how much and just what a, a, a general um, give you a general understanding of, of what a beginner foil looks like. So the basic components to make up a foil consists of your top plate, which is this is normally a separate piece on the aluminium sets, the mast, there's a little piece inside here um, just on the axis foil, it's called the doodad, then this long straight piece here is called the fuselage, and then this is the front wing, and that's the rear wing. An average male, 80, 85 kilos, Tim. In Melbourne, we've sort of got sea breezes, 15 to 20 knots. What sort of foils front wing in square centimetres that we're recommending for beginners? Okay, I think anything between sort of 1,500 square centimetres to 2,000 square centimetres is going to be a, a good front wing. You'd go bigger in size if you're sort of gearing your setup um, more to run in sort of lighter winds. Um, that's because a larger wing will lift earlier, but it will feel a little bit slower, you know So in Melbourne, we actually have quite strong wind fairly regularly yep. So we're sort of finding most guys around that sort of 85 kilo, you know They'll start on like a 1600 or something like that But yeah, if they're just gearing it up for light wind then, then they'll jump up to like a 1950 or something like that. Yeah, and when Tim says slow, as a beginner, that's still really fast on a foil. Once you're up on foils, foils are so efficient, your speed feels like it doubles. So when we say slow, it's, it's not slow relative to top end foiling, um, but it is quite fast when you're learning. So you want to have that ability to control the speed when you're beginning rather than launching and diving dramatically at you know really fast speeds so slow is a relative term um, when we're talking sort of 1600 square centimeters you can we're talking the front wing size okay so when you're choosing your front wing um, the the two key ranges that we we sell most of here is um, either the the axis broad spectrum carve so it'll be act axis bsc written, written on the wing so they, they make a 1500 square centimeter one which they call the 970 that's the wingspan and they make the 1060. the 1060 it's the larger one which is 1800 square centimeters so they're they're the two that you, you're typically going to be choosing between if you're going to go with the axis series for your first foil the next one to look at is the the cabrinas so you know if you're getting a cabrina set um, in the Fusion series, you're going to be looking for the, the X1600 um, would be the, the smaller one and then the larger one would be the 1950. You know, like for your first foil, I really wouldn't consider anything else. Most people who, who come into the store buying their first foil will choose a, a foil made from aluminium. So that means that the, the, um, the mast and the fuselage will be made from aluminium and then the wings are usually carbon. So our two best sellers sort of in, in the aluminium stuff is, is one, the, the Cabrina Fusion, you know, so that has the alloy um, mast, top plate and rear fuselage, but then the, the wing itself is still carbon and half of the fuselage at the front here is um, uh, carbon. So these guys, they retail for like just over two grand for a nice setup like that. You know, there's, there's lots of other front wings and stuff available for them. So you can you sort of future-proof yourself quite well with, with, with going to, with a system like this. The, the next best seller is the Axis stuff. So Axis foils are definitely the most versatile foils you can do. You know, there's like nearly 50 front wings available. You know, there's a front wing that will do anything you want it to do, whether it be going fast, whether it's carving well, pumping and gliding, um, surfing. Um, so access, you kind of, you build your own system, you know. So you, so you, you sort of pick your mass size, you pick your fuselage size, um, and, then, and then your wings are both interchangeable as well. So generally when I'm sort of recommending a beginner uh, um, an aluminium set from access, You'd usually choose a 75 centimetre or the 82 centimetre mast. You know, they're both sort of 
good sizes when you're starting out. Maybe a bit shorter is better when you're starting, so the 75 maybe is probably the one. Um, and then the fuselages, the names are a little tricky on these. You probably want to start out with the short fuselage, you know, because I think uh, compared to the other brands, the short fuselage is about what most other brands are yeah. sort of using so, as So Axis as well. name their fuselages in short. Industry standard the Axis short is about 60. So for beginner setups, 60 to 70 centimeters for the length of the fuselage. 70 being a little longer makes it a little less pitch sensitive, easier to control. So you're not bouncing up and down until you sort of figure out your footwork. Mm. So nothing wrong with having a 65, 70 centimeter fuse for your beginning uh, foil setup. And then with the, the good thing about alloy is it's relatively, especially axis cheap to change your fuse and your mass length as you sort of progress. The, so a typical complete set of, of an axis foil is, you know, around that $1,900 mark with all, with all the components you need to make it work. Um, Some of the benefits for the alloy is not only the price point, um, but you get a really stiff extruded alloy mast and fuselage connection. So that gives you a really true feeling of the foil. Um, sometimes as you go to carbon, it can be, uh, have a little bit of flex to it being the nature of carbon, but for its price and, and its stiffness, it's really high quality gear. Sort of the next thing up in the Cabrina range is, is something like this H series set here. You know, so this has got a full carbon mast. It's got the full carbon one piece tail. Um, and this, this particular one's the 1200 front wing. Um, so they, you know, they're, they're about a kilo lighter than, than, than a, than a alloy set. But anyway, these guys are about, um, started about 3,100 for a full set like that. Um, you still can put the beginner wings on a carbon set. So if you're getting your first foil and you, and you want, want the best, you know, you, you can grab the carbon stuff with the beginner front wing straight away. Yeah, the, the great thing about this is everything is modular. So if you had an alloy set up and you wanted to, grade to uh, upgrade to H series front wings, no problem at all. Likewise, if you wanted to upgrade your alloy mast to a carbon mast, you can definitely do that. But once you've gone sort of through the, the beginning process of, of learning on your larger foil, you know, like a year or so down the track after you've had a lot of time on the water, you might be looking for something sort of faster and, 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 and something that sort of pumps better and, you know, and is a bit, bit more looser and surfy. So you'd, you'd probably end up, if you got this original setup like this with the X-Series front wing, you might just swap the front wing out and get yourself one of these H-Series, you know, that, 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 that perform a lot faster, but maybe a little bit trickier to learn on. As you go higher aspect, it's just more technical to ride. So it's not so much about weight, it's about your skill level. Once you start making your jibes and tacks and you're consistently up on foil, you can sort of migrate from your biggest, bigger front wing uh, down up to your high aspects. Rear wings is probably the next topic we need to cover. So the generally when you're starting out, you want a larger rear wing because that just makes your whole setup more stable and, and, and just a bit easier to control. Um, then as you progress, you know, you start moving into sort of smaller stuff that just makes your setup looser and, and glide a bit faster. If, if you're going the Axis set, generally we'd put you on something like the 400 by 90 or the 440 90, the, the, the bigger size of this, um, as a beginner wing. You know, as you progress and you've kind of learnt how to control the foil, then, then you can jump down to sort of some of the smaller wings like the Progressive series. Yeah, and so you can get a lot of performance upgrades purely by changing your tail wing on your beginner setup. So, and they range between 250 and $300. So a smaller outlay for a big performance increase on your beginner setup. Summarizing all of that. So when we're talking beginner setup, Alloy is an extremely good price point, stiff, strong, durable foil yeah. to, to start with. So that's sort of starting 1800 to 2100 in the alloy carbon front wing setups. Yeah, and then for full carbon sets, you know, you're looking at, you know, we've got some good specials on the, on the older Armstrong ones that starting at sort of 2400 up to sort of 32. Size wise, so average 80 kilo guy, 15 to 18 knots, you can get away with sort of 1600. Obviously the heavier you are and the lighter wind that you want to ride in, the bigger your front wing generally needs to be. You can increase your hand wing as well. So there's a couple of variables there, but weight and wind strength is probably key. Yeah, so let's just maybe just have a little bit more of a run through of what else is available. So the, so the Fnatic, these guys come in a, in a carbon set like you see here uh, with the carbon fuse, um, carbon fuselage, carbon mast, 
with all different sizes of masts available. And then, you know, they've got sort of three or four ranges of front wings as well. So, you know, most brands you'll find these days are going to have quite a large range of front wings. Um, you know, the, the full carbon set retail for, for just over three grand. Um, so that's like everything you need to make it complete. Um, and then the aluminium set, it's just over $2,000. Uh, another one which is North. pretty cool to do is the, the, the North. So the North Sonar series, you know, it's a, it's sort of the same thing again, you know, like it, it, they've got the aluminium mast and fuselage set, um, all, the, all the front, all the wings are carbon, um, and then you can buy the carbon mast and fuselage as well. The, they, they come in at quite a good price, you know, they're, they're around that sort of 2500 mark complete for a carbon set and then around that sort of 1850 for a, for a complete alloy set. All right, to summarise, if you're buying your first foil, probably the, the best way to go is, is, is probably like the aluminium fusion setup with the 1600 or 1950 front wing um, or the Axis with the broad spectrum carve. 970 or, or 1060, 1060 for front bigger wing. guys yeah. yeah that's right you know and they're, they're around that sort of same money um when when you put it all in with the package um yeah and then if, you, if you've got some extra dollars you want to burn and, and get the best then then you know there's plenty of carbon stuff here too <laughs> it happens <laughs> <laughs>